have made a very personal decision and I'd like to share it with you. My gut's flora is messed up. I have too much bad bacteria and not enough good. And my gut's been that way for years due to too much antibiotic use. And so I've decided to get a fecal microbiota transplant, FMT for short. I'm going to fly to the UK to get this done because in the US, fecal transplants are only approved for C. diff, which is a gnarly bacteria that causes diarrhea and inflammation of the colon. In today's episode, I share the conversation I had with the director of the Taymount Clinic in Hertfordshire, England, Dr. Enid Taylor. That's the clinic where I'll be getting the poop of 10 different healthy donors over a two week period to help reconstruct my intestines. We always have had a lot of American visitors coming to the clinic since we started in 2010, 11. Um, I think the FDA made it very popular because they banned it in America. So we're gonna give you 10 different donors from um, 10 different days. So somewhere in that 10 is going to be everything we hope that you need. And some you will keep and retain and some you will just let fall by the wayside because your lifestyle won't match all of those 10 people. As we go through the experience that we're gaining, we are getting more and more refined and more and more sophisticated with the testing. So mm -hmm. it is as safe as our current knowledge will allow us to make it. It is around about the four thousand pounds mark I, I think in in terms of dollars that's going to be about four and a half five thousand um, dollars mm -hmm. that's what i'm yeah, budgeting yeah mm -hmm. and of course you have to travel to get here you have to stay in a hotel <laughs> i've read a lot of research about fmt and one of the things that i was really excited about if alzheimer's is an age-related disease Okay, if we can slow the process of mm -hmm. aging, then you can help prevent some of these age related yeah. diseases. So with a fecal microbiota transplant, the research is now showing that if you get poop from a young person, you then will exhibit in your eyes and in other places mm -hmm. in your body, a younger mm -hmm. you. If you get poop from an older person, it's going yeah, to age yeah. you. And so I remember writing to your receptionist and saying, um, how old are those donors? <laughs> <laughs> and it looks like for me, all the donors are going to be younger. Yeah. So this will help my biological age. It'll help keep me younger and prevent age-related disease, I totally right? believe so. We have a cutoff of 55 for donors. In fact, I think um, we were actually okay. talking about cutting it off at 50. It's a very rewarding space to be in. When, when it works really well like that, it's so I, gratifying. I and people say to us, you know, not only have you made my husband well, but you've, you've returned me to being his wife from being his carer. Ooh, that's a subtle but very powerful shift, isn't it? Ooh, yeah. Ooh. You change very. your lives by just giving very. people back to themselves. So I want to share with you how it went for me getting a fecal transplant personally. It was an all around great experience from the very first fecal transplant on a Monday morning. My gut stopped hurting every time I ate. I didn't have stomach bloating anymore. I could go out to a restaurant and not get sick each time. I could eat foods that I couldn't have tolerated before, like Indian food, which I do love. So all this happened right away for me. Plus, I had nine more days of transplants to go. This immediate remission of symptoms, according to the Tamount Clinic staff, happens, but for most, it takes longer, more days of transplants to see results. So don't get your hopes up too high just by seeing what happened to me. It's been four months since the procedure, and for me, everything is held. I also brought back to the U.S. some fecal transplants to do at home. I've done one each month since going to England. It's not hard to do. They send along everything you need and instruct you well before leaving the clinic. I also wanted some fecal transplant material on hand in case I have to do antibiotics for some reason. And a fun aside, the 20 or so well-screened poop donors at the Taymount Clinic are a dedicated group. They show up nearly every day with a contribution. They come from all walks of life. But at least for a time, there were a whole lot of firemen and firemen and firewomen have to be in great shape to do that work. Check out this guy. So I'd like to think I got fireman poop and I joke I'm really attuned now to sirens and climbing ladders lately. 
The Tame Out Clinic staff says eating a variety of foods is important to keep your new bacteria happy. 100 different foods a week. When I'm eating that kind of variety, I like to think I'm making my firemen happy. <laughs> anyway, I hope you found this helpful. May we all live longer, better, and healthier.